Hello everyone, this is Unit 13, your channel host for South Florida Driving 101. I want to share with you an experience that we had at Toyota of Hollywood. Our 4Runner was taken in there for regular maintenance and uh, when it came back I went out to change the SD card and I noticed that the camera angle was drastically changed from when it went out that morning. Now the only way that that camera angle could be changed so drastically is if someone tampered with it. And that made me immediately suspicious because I knew it had been in for maintenance. Now here's a little piece of footage of me actually manipulating that portion of the camera and you can see it's not easy to do. It takes quite a bit of force to move that. It's not going to move setting up in the dashboard in an upward direction on its own. The next footage we'll see will be the actual event filmed in real time. Then there'll be two duplicate videos where it, the event is slowed down. Then it'll switch back to the real time. Here it is real time. See the camera move up. Here's the slow motion. Look at that. That camera is being manipulated by someone. It didn't just slowly creep up there on its own like that, back to real time. This raises all kinds of questions. Why would an employee of Hollywood Toyota be manipulating our dash camera? Nobody there has permission to touch that camera. And if they don't agree with being recorded by it, well, they shouldn't be out in public. That's as simple as that. This camera doesn't run the entire time. It shuts off when the vehicle shuts off. However, I'm sure this person, whoever manipulated that camera, did not know that. But why are they manipulating that camera? What do they have to hide? What are they trying to keep us from seeing? Now, here's a face that keeps showing up in these videos. If you can go back through these videos, you'll look and see this person's face keeps showing up in here and clearly this is the person who's going to do the work on the vehicle. I'm not making any accusations on this person. I simply want to know, is this the person who did it? And if so, that person never should touch our vehicle again or anyone else's for that matter, really. We're going to complain to the management. That's all we have. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them down in the comments section. I'd like to know what you think. This is Unit 13. I'm out.